tell you uh... <laughs> What a day! It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's really nice. Very, very Welsh, obviously, you've come to... <laughs> I've been to Wales enough now to know that this is very typically Welsh weather. This is... I, it never rains in Wales. No, it it's doesn't. It's a myth. It's a myth. <laughs> blazing sunshine. So, this morning, I was getting a bit frustrated. I've not been out and done any landscape photography and it felt like absolutely ages. Um, so I decided that I was going to chuck all my clothes, I was going to work, and if I had any chance, I was going to have my walking, my hiking, uh, photography gear basically in the car. I thought you were going to say you put it all on. Yeah, underneath, my, underneath my suit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I had everything in my uh, car. And this man, Andrew Maguire, Hello. Um, texted me <laughs> mid-morning to say that he was in Wales and I'm my free for, for the landscape photography. And obviously I was thrilled that I had all my gear in the boot. I was absolutely chuffed for that. So yeah, jumped on the opportunity, left work early. What time is it now? It's about two o'clock, isn't it? Half past two? Yeah, half two. Um, so we've come to Pond Nevecan Waterfalls, which is something that uh, uh, Brecon Beacons is kind of famous for, South Wales, all these amazing waterfalls. Uh, so we're going to, we've parked just at the top, it's only about a 10 minute walk to the first waterfall. So we're going to wander down there and see if we can get any photographs. So yeah, really, really looking forward to this. It's the first time I've actually done a shoot with Andy Maguire. And I've got to say... Might be the last time. <laughs> this man, in truth, was one of the reasons I uh, I got into YouTube photography in the first place I because you it's one of the reasons you moved to Wales. <laughs> you because the this guy used to have a he's actually come off YouTube now, isn't he temporarily? I've still or got the channel. I'm still sure got the channel, but one day, but. Um, so he's not vlogging at the minute. But when he did, I used to really enjoy how he'd go out and just have fun with the camera, not take it seriously. He's a damn good personality as well. So I'll stick a link to Tony Maguire's channel on there as well. So he's always fun to watch and. I, uh, you were a bit of a hero of mine back in the day, so I hope you do start the YouTube up again. He's, uh, he's a good man, so hopefully we'll have a laugh today, take some photographs and uh, see how we get on. I'll see you when we get to the waterfall. That's the first waterfall on this walk. There's about 15 million of them. I mean, there's actually probably about four, but I'll put the name to that waterfall just there because uh, there's no signal, so I can't Google it. And even if I could Google it, I wouldn't be able to say it because it's a Welsh name. Um, this is the first waterfall. It's only about five or 10 minutes from the car park. Absolutely awesome. So I found a composition I really like, but it's proven difficult to photograph. So when we got here, I don't know if you can see there's like a band of light going straight through the middle of the waterfall, which I thought would look really cool. But it's actually caught, catching the top of the trees which are on the top left hand corner of the waterfall so what I wanted to do is create a square image having the leaves catching the light on the top left and the bottom right there's like a rock which is catching the rock that catching the light there as well and at one second exposure I think I'm on about f8 ISO 200 um, with the um, six stop filter on there because it's really really bright um, but it's there's actually a little waterfall for, forming in the front there so I might put a slightly wider lens I've got the 70 to 200 lens on at the minute and I forget how wide I am on that. I am at, oh, just about, I'm about 90 mil. 90 mil on that lens, so uh, yeah, it's a lovely composition, but it's just, I don't know, it's just not that easy to photograph. I don't know what, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Keep trying though, eh? And sorry if the light keeps playing around, it's extremely bright. It's probably the worst conditions possible for photographing waterfalls. It's really, really harsh sunlight there. Uh, warm, isn't it? It's like the blooming south of France. <laughs> it's really warm. Oh, it's I good though. Heat. Hey? It's got factor 50 on today. Yeah. <laughs> it is. We forgot the beers. That's what we forgot. Oh, Forget the suntan lotion. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knuckle down, try and get this photograph, and uh, I'll show you in a second.
lot easier now. The light has, has gone so much calmer. You probably still can't hear me because of that thing. It's so loud. Um, so Andrew Maguire sadly has had to go, um, which is a bit of a shame. He had to go meet his missus. So it's good to see him though. I did not expect to see him today at all. He texted me to say he was in the area. I was so glad I had my clothes in the car, uh, my uh, hiking gear and my wellies and stuff. That was a fluke. What's happening now is as the water uh, comes over the waterfall, it forms like a swirl in the, in the foreground here. And basically what I've done is I've got an, uh, a six stop or a, a ten stop, I think it's a six stop. Yeah, six stop filter on there. Um, my short term memory is really annoying. So a six stop uh, filter on there and a polarizer just to get rid of all the glare. And that's given, I can get down to about 30 seconds. I might try and go for a minute in a minute. Um, and that's given me loads of motion for the water going around. So it looks really cool, you get nice swirls. I might put a minute on there now, so I'll, uh, I'll see what I have to do for that. Maybe put, a, put the 10 stop filter probably back on, that might do that. Um, yeah, so it's really, really cool, really cool. Nice now that the lights softened down, it's really awesome. I was struggling before when we were down the other end of the waterfall, I didn't really like it down there, because the, there's so much of a distraction with all the, all the bits of the foreground and the light was just so dappled, it was just destroying the image. So didn't really get anything from earlier, I don't think, but I think I've got a nice photograph here anyway. So that would have been an amazing landscape photography adventure. Thank you so much, Andrew, for letting me know you were in the area so I could uh, escape from work for a couple of hours. That was good. Really enjoyed it. It was all going to plan. Harsh lighting at the beginning, but as soon as the sun went beyond a cloud, diffused it for us, it's a lot easier to photograph waterfalls in soft lighting. But uh, yeah, really good fun. That was until I decided to do a bit of B-roll with the drone as I, was, uh, as I was about to pack up. And then it said it had about a minute and a half of battery left. And uh, it went into land mode, and fortunately it didn't land in the, uh, on the side of the water, it landed in the water. So I had to run into the water and grab the drone. It went, it was about 18 inches deep. So it did unfortunately go right underwater. Fingers crossed it'll be all right, and I took the battery out of it straight away. It's going straight home, it's in my pocket right now, warming up. And uh, hopefully it'll, it'll rescue if I put it in some rice and don't switch it on for a week or so. But yeah, I'll be so upset if I've lost my Mavic. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the photography. Oh, we got some good images, I think we did. Nice to experiment a little bit. And uh, yeah, it was a good laugh. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and uh, uh, give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment, it'd be great to hear from you. I'll see you again. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, wish me luck. <laughs>